Welcome. My name is Steve Miller, and today is Tuesday, May 14th. And our scripture reading today comes from Colossians chapter 1, verses 15 through 20. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For by him all things were created, things in heaven and things on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things were created by him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning and the firstborn from among the dead, so that in everything he might have the supremacy. For God was pleased to have all of his fullness dwell in him, and through him to recognize reconcile to himself all things, whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. Our devotion for today, in Colossians, Paul confesses faith in the one who existed before time, created the world, and came to make peace through the shedding of his blood. On Pentecost, Peter confessed his faith in the crucified and risen Savior. John 3.16 has often been called the gospel in a nutshell. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. A creed is a confession of belief. The Christian creeds summarize the teachings of scripture and are tools that can be used when someone asks you about your faith. The apostles and Nicene's creeds are used frequently in our services and are memorized by many people. The Apostles' Creed, found in its earliest form as far back as the late second century, is a confession of our faith, which is built on Christ, the cornerstone. Look in Luther's small catechism with explanation for the explanation of the Apostles' Creed. Review the Bible verses that are listed there. Keep their meanings fresh in your memory. And here, another one. But in your hearts, honor Christ the Lord as holy always being prepared to make a defense to anyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that there is in you. Yet do with it gentleness and respect. Our prayer for today. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, help me give a clear witness to you. Amen.